So we're back. By popular demand, you lot needed us, begged us to come and show you <laughs> the near burger. Oh, honestly, you need to come here. It is the restaurant that's on site, as we've said, uh, on the campsite. You don't have to stay on the campsite. You can nope. stay in the car park outside because they allow that as well. But look at that. Oh, we've got more, more pulled pork on today. Look at that. Oh, oh yeah, that is just. Oh, and it's medium. The burger's oh, cooked. Yeah. Oh. Stop recording and here's to eat. I'm drooling. <laughs> I really apologise now if you're vegetarian or vegan and mm. a bit ruined by this, but obviously food is food and everyone should understand However, if, the enjoyment um, of food. If the people who, who make vegetarian and vegan food want to make something that tastes like that, yes, we'll eat we'll it. We'll eat it. Any Absolutely. day of the week. It's not about Twice eating meat at all. It's no. about those flavours. No, no, it's all about yeah. the food. Yeah. Morning. Morning. All right. Hi, how are you? Last hot shower for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Last long hot shower for a while. Yeah, we're uh, just leaving the campsite now. So got all the chairs spun round, everything's kind of almost packed away. Got an odd thing here in that we have to wait for the guy to come and unlock the electric box so we can unplug. Cooper's sat there waiting outside because obviously you know what Cooper's like with traveling. So he's a bit like, yeah, I don't want to go. Well, he doesn't know where he's going. If he knew where he was going, he'd be getting excited. Something that we've not asked you to do for a while, but if you are not a subscriber, any chance you're thinking like, mm, these videos are alright, I don't mind subscribing. And if you are a subscriber and you think our videos are alright, any chance you could share it, send a little link out to your friends, put it on Facebook, Instagram, Instagram whatever, share yeah. it online. Sharing's caring and apparently um, YouTube really likes the fact that sometimes our videos get shared. Back on the road again. On the road again. On the road again, leaving the campsite. And uh, all is good, it's nice to get back on the road again. Felt like we're in a bit of a funk, a bit of a lost. Like we didn't know where we were doing or what we were doing or anything. So the campsite was a lost good. We've lost purpose really, haven't we? So it's yeah. reset at the campsite. So um, yeah, we're off back into the mountains now. <laughs> Take this stupid stuff off. It's full of gas. Well, not me personally, but you know, the van's full of gas. Full of diesel. Diesel, weasel, diesel. Mm -hmm. So, um, well, let's go get. It's bigger than places because it's cheap as chips, isn't it? Yeah. Um, what was it? Um, 97 cents a litre of a diesel. diesel. Yeah. Nice. And 60 for autogas. Yeah, so full of full tanks of both. 68 euros. Nice. It's just a bit tight on the old entry and exit. <laughs> <It's> definitely. <laughs> That's what she said. Hey darling, can I tell you what's been on my mind? Sick and tired of the nine to five in the city light. Hey darling, we could get out of town, see the beautiful world around. Of the night when 
the stars are bright. I must say, Mr. Gadget, I am uh, shocked and also slightly impressed. Yeah? At yeah. What? That you didn't choose to park us down there. Well, there's time. <laughs> but I went for that little piece of concrete kind of signage there mm. um, because I know what you're like with um, falling off a. Like you have these stupid dreams about us falling off the side of the hill. But, yeah, I don't like the idea of falling off edge of a cliff. No, so yeah. th having that sign thing, the concrete thing in front of the van, I was hoping it would give you some confidence that you can sleep all right tonight. So nice of you. You weren't scared by the mountain roads? Uh, not scared, I got a bit of vertigo. Yeah? Yeah. I had to close my eye and drive like this because this could just see flash, flash, flash and then could see how much of a drop off Ooh. there was. I did enjoy that road though, despite Mandy not liking it so much, I did enjoy that. I did enjoy the fact that um, I've not seen any signs so far saying um, National Park can't go here or no camping overnight. So the reason why I personally chose this is because Mandy keeps saying I take her to lovely spots but there's nowhere to walk coop. So this is both. Is it a good walk, pal? Well, should we get going? He's in mountain goat mode. Come on then. Come on then. Let's go. Come on, up, up again. Look, this well, you can to go back. That one. Coop's having a drink of the mud. <laughs> well done, buddy. All the fresh water in the world, and you're having a drink of the mud water, you pleb. Look at that view. There's the road that we just come up, the little windy road. So, those are the little buggers there that we need to avoid. What are they called? Processionary caterpillars. Processionary pine caterpillars, yeah. Yeah, so those seem to be on the floor and in the trees and everything. It's alright if they stay in the trees. But not but on the floor. It's when they come down. Oh, it's big in there. So we need to avoid these because of coop. So we're we going to turn around, folks. Just to be on the safe side. Make sure Moopy's alright, don't we, pal? Hey? So that's what we're avoiding. They're in... This little pine tree, like a shrub, not a big one. And there's there's another there. one in that tree there. And he's like on the floor there. Yeah, See on it? the floor there. Back of the van now. It was um, cold. It does actually say in the van 5.5 degrees. 5.3. 5.3. Yeah. <laughs> it's a bit chilly. But yeah, once we started to find quite a few of those nests and some of the caterpillars on the floor. Lots of caterpillars on the yeah, floor. Yeah, that was um, that was just kind of like end of it really. Can't uh, risk coop. And if you don't know. Processionary pine caterpillars nest in pine trees and they look like big white balls in the trees. And around this time of year, apparently, mm -hmm. they start hatching and eating food. Um, or which is the pine, the pine tree, tree yeah. and then they make their way down the pine tree to the ground then they burrow in the ground where they emerge as moths for a day to go and lay more eggs in a tree that mm. hatch into caterpillars seems to be their only purpose you can't think of anything else what they're useful for um but they have like a defense mechanism on them um and when you see them if you look on the internet we've not seen them in a procession yet have no. we uh, it looks like a big furry snake coming down the tree um, but the little hairs on them, if the dogs get them, if they inhale them, they can stick in the lungs and they can cause all sorts of problems. They can get stuck in the soft tissue of the mouth and they can get stuck in the paws. And obviously when they lick them, it then gets congested and causes yeah. all the problems. So apparently it's an instant vet visit from people that we've seen and spoken to who have had it happen and whatever. So I don't know if we are overreacting a little bit, but Better he's our mate. Safe, so, yeah. you know, we don't want him, uh, him being poorly. And... Uh, He's trying to tell you he wants his chewy. He wants his chewy. <laughs> you got your chewy bud? Oh. oh, he's such a good boy. His, his feet are stained orange. Yeah, because the uh, the yeah. mud from the rocks. Really cool rock formations oh, yeah. and stuff like that. Really interesting rocks. That was a proper hike as well, because yeah. John's like, it's all right, <laughs> it's just a normal path. Yeah, and it says it's only 1.8 kilometres. 
I think that was 1.8 kilometres, about 45 degrees. <laughs> yeah, yeah. There was a lovely mirador though down there, which was yeah. really nice, really good. You could see Gibraltar and... Um, Oh look, Cooper's having a drink. There, everybody. <laughs> we need to start putting bets on that. What time in the video do people think that Coop's going to start drinking? Um, but yeah, yeah, Mirador, so we could see um, Gibraltar and see the fact that we are in the clouds, but you could see all the Costa area, mm. the Costas. We're in the sun still. Yes. And there was a little rainbow and all that as well. Yeah, it was very pretty. It's mm. beautiful up here, really. So we'll probably have another walk out because I think just out to that Mirador and back is a. It's a good it's walk. It's a good walk. Yeah, maybe do it again in the morning. Yep. Hopefully if the weather's better. And then tomorrow, uh, we're off to LA. Yep, going to go to Los Angeles because, yeah. you know, fancy to change and everything. And all that. Come on, buddy. Oh, look at this park up. Oh, yeah. It was a bit cloudy and everything yesterday when we arrived. So, we didn't get to see it like this. Loving that view there of up the road through the uh, trees and everything. But, yeah, not so bad night's sleep. It was pretty, pretty windy. Uh, that right there that you can see is the sea. So it did rain when we got here last night. And that is a little icicle, because it is that cold right now. Where's that from? The side of the van after the rain. And then John, what you doing babe? Bye, bro. What a treat that is. So not only can you see Gibraltar, but there's the whole continent of the top of Africa there as well. Just over the water. Looks like it's so close. Absolutely stunning views up here though, aren't they, baby? Oh, unbelievable. I'm glad we came back this morning. Yeah. Because last yeah. night we couldn't see you anywhere near as much. I got a cold nose, Daddy. Oh, cold nose. Right. And the really weird thing Mandy pointed out, see the cell towers up there, yeah, we had really bad signal last night. I guess it's because we're on the other side of this hill and whatever this rock is must be... Interfering. Yeah, interferon. What film's that from, interferon? Dallas Buyers Club. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> We've been watching all the movies. Yeah. Oh yeah, Netflix and chill. Yeah. Someone doesn't yeah, think yeah. we know what Netflix and chill means, uh, babe. Yeah, I don't think you don't know. We know what Netflix and chill means. Yeah. Don't you worry. <laughs> <laughs> well, that was a nice park. That was very nice. I can't believe the colours. I can't stop looking at it all. It's um, pretty spectacular. In two kilometres, turn right onto MA 8302. Probably will turn right at some point. Yeah, I'm very sure. Got switch back lanes yeah. all the way. I think every time it's said to turn right you've literally been driving off the edge of a cliff if you don't. So uh, yeah. <laughs> if it wasn't for that wind last night it like literally was whistling through the window seals. Oh it was ridiculous wasn't it? But yeah, yeah. epic park up. Yeah. Definitely worth it if you're over this way. Didn't get bothered, no signs out anywhere or anything like that. So the road up here is pretty good. Most of it's tarmac. Um, few potholes and stuff like that um, but um, no rough roads or no kind of gravel road or anything like that um, like I said the worst thing you can do is uh, avoiding the Big potholes, potholes. <laughs> there we go 
and it's well worth it for the views. Oh my goodness, the views. Especially today, because they are stunning. But now we're off to Los Angeles. Yeah, bit of a drive. Yeah. <laughs> See, told you we're coming to Los Angeles. Come on, pal. Let's go see your mummy. Come on now. Let's go see your mummy. I am married to a bit of a brand snob when it comes to certain things. This one, which is obvious what it is. And this one, which is obvious what it is. I'm going to decant into the um, these plastic cups so we can't see the cans. <laughs> That's definitely Coke Zero. Yep. It's good, but it's not Coke Zero. Right, so everybody at home knows I've not moved the glasses around. They are still in the same place okay. as I put them in on the side. Mm -hmm. But I like them, so what's the difference in price? That's the biggest thing. Well, I mean, we just buy the big packs anyway. The Coke Zero mm -hmm. is between 6 and 7 euros for 12 cans. Okay. The Freeway Cola is 2 euros 20 for 12 cans. Wow. So there's like 4, 5 euros difference. I mean, I'm not being funny, but chuck that with Jack Daniels. I don't drink it all the time, but I'm not that much. <laughs> We chuck that with Jack Daniels and that's fine. And even just have as a drink, that's fine. So there we go. You can get that in the UK. I don't know. I don't know anybody that shops in Lidl in the UK because I'm an Aldi in the UK girl, you see. Um, I don't know if they do now freeway in... Brand snob. <laughs> no, it's not. It's just that, that I find Aldi in the UK better and I find Lidl in Europe better. Okay. So. All right then, let us know in the comments down below. Um, can you get that from Lidl's in the UK? Lovely little morning sunrise over there. Well, I'm guessing by the windscreen of the car there that it froze a bit last night. The heating was on a little bit, but it's not too bad. So it's quite a peaceful night's sleep. The bells on the church stopped at midnight. And there is a railway line just there. And they stopped about 1am. So, hey-ho. But other than that, it was a good night's sleep. I mean, what a view to wake up to, though, eh? But today, I think we'll be moving on. So, we uh, do hope that our videos are brightening up your day. So, I wanted to say thank you for everyone who has watched our videos. Uh, thank you for everyone that's commented, uh, everyone that's uh, subscribed as well, all the yes. subscribers. And if you're not subscribers, go click that button. Yeah. And, and ding the bell and ding the bell ding 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 ding. ding, ding. Yeah. Um, and also, um, I really want to thank everyone that's contributed towards or supported us on this channel so we get um obviously people who are buying stickers yes um now and again we get some money off paypal as well yep and that's always really gratefully received yep um and also uh, something new to us as well which is all our members which is now about 32 members yes and so, thank you all thank you everybody. every time we see comments and see the little badge yeah makes, although i think it looks like a little world because of the colors on it it makes me <laughs> it's our logo isn't yeah it? So. and every time i see that next to somebody there it makes me i mean i, I love the comments anyway but it mm. makes me so happy that um we've got people who are also willing to put their hard-earned money to us to get us fuel and and, and whatnot right that's what's the best get a um, bit of breakfast oh cooper's going oh yeah we're traveling now uh, so yeah a bit of breakfast and then we'll get on the road yeah we will Get out, we can leave this city 
Let's drive to the open air Yeah, the countryside is so pretty With the wind blowing in your hair We can look back someday Baby, don't you understand That we only get one life on one So it wasn't really the park up we had in planned for uh, New Year's Eve to get rid of all the fireworks for Cooper to have a bit of a quiet night. Yeah. But um, the significant water level drop on the lake meant that most of the park ups couldn't be used. Yeah. So um, we found somewhere that'll do. It's out of the way. It is. You're going to make some paella, aren't I'm you? I'm going to make some paella. And um, well, hopefully we'll have a quiet night. Yep, should be nice. Yeah. So it's New Year's Eve and we've decided i'm going to actually make some spanish food the spanish way as much as i can find the spanish way um and we are having a paella or tea for the very first time i've not made this before i'm assuming it's similar to risotto which i have done um however we have all of the ingredients all ready to go got a bit carried away and started chopping so we've got some chopped onion and some chopped pepper we've got four uh chicken thighs we have an extra special sweet chorizo along with some we don't do peas so we're putting some sweet corn in there we've got some paella rice some tomato passata type stuff uh sieve tomatoes because john doesn't like chopped tomatoes along with some sweet smoky paprika garlic salt and pepper chicken stock white wine to start with, I'm going to get the uh, chorizo in the pan and get that cooked up nice and brown and a bit crispy, get a bit of colour on there. So I've got some um, oil, just using olive oil. I'll fry off the chorizo first until it's nice and uh, nice and crispy. The chorizo looks nice and brown, maybe a little bit too, doesn't matter any. I'm going to take that out of the pan with a slotty spoon because you want to leave all the oils in there because they're going to cook the chicken. I'm going to pop the chicken in. Um, that's just a 550 gram pack of chicken thighs that uh, had the bones taken out. With the chicken I'm going to add some smoked paprika, just a teaspoon, and some salt and pepper. And you can see the colour of the oil already in there making the, uh, the chicken go like a nice yellowy orange colour. So I've just got to brown that off nicely on all sides and then take that out with a sloppy spoon when it's done as well. So give the chicken a bit of a stir. You have to remember now we don't need to cook the chicken all the way through because you're going to pop it back in with the rice when that's cooking and that will kind of simmer it and cook it all the way through. So it's just a case of getting it nicely coloured on all the sides and then take it out with a sloppy spoon. Now the chicken's out, I've lowered the heat down to uh, from medium high to medium popped a little bit more oil in there and I've put in the onions and the peppers and I'm going to cook them up until they get nice and soft so I reckon about four minutes in the meantime though look how lovely all that looks the onion peppers are nice and soft now so I'm just going to pop in like a teaspoon of garlic and um, just cook that through until it's nice and fragrant so about another couple of minutes I should think so that, now that smells absolutely amazing I'm just going to pop in um, about an eighth of a glass of white wine don't quite think you can go wrong just give it a good old glug um, then you're going to deglaze the pan which is basically just scraping all the bits off the bottom to make sure that there's nothing stuck there already i think that's about ready i am now going to stir in the tomato frito which or, or tin tomatoes whichever you're using um the chicken broth or I've just used two chicken stock cubes in about two cups of water and uh, the turmeric for the colour and add them back in and give them a stir. Right, so now that's all in there, I'm going to add back in the chicken and the chorizo and I'm going to bring all of that up to a boil. That is now gently boiling away, so I'm going to pour the rice in. When you pour the rice in, you just kind of pour it over all of the liquid until it's like evenly dispersed um, and then you leave it. I think you give it one stir and then you leave it and you don't touch it pop a lid on it and leave it like that for 20 minutes no stirring no nothing that way you get little bits of crispy rice on the bottom which apparently is part of the deal of authentic cooked paella that's been 20 minutes so i'm going to take the lid off and give it a really good stir 
and add in the sweet corn and then just see how much liquid is in the pan to see what I do next. I reckon that's literally going to be a couple more minutes because we're getting to the point where there's just a little bit too much liquid in there. So I'm going to let it very slowly simmer down but keep an eye on it and keep stirring it. Um, and yeah, I think five more minutes max. But I'm really enjoying getting back to cooking again and Christmas cooking is all about what you cook with, isn't it? Can't have them in the uh, in the van for too long because I'll ruin my New Year's resolutions to not eat entire tubs of celebrations to myself. Do you agree with me on this one? It's chocolate tapas because sometimes you're like, you know what? I want a Snickers. All the chocolates are available, and uh, but you don't want a whole Snickers. So this is just a nice amount of Snickers. But in the same amount of chocolate that you'd eat eating a Snickers, a whole Snickers, you can get a little Snickers, a little Twix, a little Mars bar. Um, bounty, oh I love the bounties, the Malteser ones which are my favourite um, and yeah, I, you can get all of them in the same sort of calories or nutritional value or whatever that you would do for eating an entire Snickers so I like it, chocolate tapas for the win so it's done, it's actually, I can hear hissing so there we go, hob off that looks lovely that you've even got a glass of wine waiting. Oh, that's good. So we've been in Spain for two months now. Mm. And it's the first time we've done a paella. Mm. Oh, yeah, that's good. That's nice, isn't it? Mm. I am right. so impressed with that. Apart from all the pre-chopping of things, which did take some time, apart from that, it's literally just putting things in the pan in the right order. It's very, very straightforward. Mm. One pan meal. Oh well, that was the strangest New Year's Eve we've ever had. Yes. Very quiet. Yeah, I mean even quieter than just being in the house, wasn't yeah. it? Because we didn't really used to do much, did we? But we used to watch TV or something. Yeah, like Jules Holland's or Hogmanay or something whatever. Something like yeah. that, but there was obviously none of that last night. So. No, we were, we were sat on our and phones, weren't we? We were, we're like, an hour ahead as well. <laughs> yeah, we were sat on our phones, it was just like, oh, happy New Year, babe. Yeah. Let's have a snog. <laughs> Ah uh, dear. Well yeah, lovely day today. Time to get some editing done. Yes. Get solar in the batteries. And decide where we're going. Probably not tonight, we'll probably stay here tonight. Yeah, that'd be nice. Decide where we're going tomorrow. Absolutely. So bit of a dilemma. As you can see, I'm editing this week's vlog right now. And we've noticed that there are fewer views uh, on our vlogs. And I'm guessing it's probably because they're getting longer. Mm. So it's my fault. I'm the one who edits, so I'm making longer vlogs. A few of you have said that you like it, but I suppose to all the people that aren't subscribed and the people that you suggest videos to or YouTube suggesting videos to, when they see that little timestamp of 45 minutes or 42 minutes, they're going, no, I haven't got time for that. So... Would you um, prefer if we dropped Van Chat Tuesday... That what well, they'll probably come back after we've tra after we're travelling because we'll we won't Have be doing enough things, yeah. to, to to do. We've got so much stuff to cram into these videos that we're thinking about splitting it into two. So having two vlogs rather than a vlog and Van Chat Tuesday. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Yes, thank you very much. Hope you had a good New Year, and we shall see you next week. Obviously, um, do let us know in the comments section down below if you want two or one vlog a week because we might see you earlier than you thought. Then yeah. Well, we will anyway. We'll see you Tuesday. Oh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah, we're yeah. not in a vlog. <laughs> I didn't get much sleep last night. Oh, bless you. Yeah. Mm. Right. right. See you see later, guys. guys. Take care. Bye. Bye.